So let me dock the ship and we'll walk around the city. All right, there we go. That should be good. We'll just leave the ship here. We might get a parking ticket, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Tiny Sailor's World and happy Halloween. We're going to be building a Halloween ship while also checking out a brand new update. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so here I am in Halifax and we are going to sail our way to New York. But first, let's go ahead and let's build the Halloween ship. Now I'm thinking I actually want to build our Halloween ship out of the 1963 Oceanic which one was a part of the Halloween event and two could look really spooky if we decorate it right. So yeah, let's uh, spawn it in and start modifying it. All right, so here it is and it looks like there's a minor issue going on with our funnel. So that's unfortunate. It might be a Roblox loading issue. So we'll pay no attention to that, but let's go ahead and let's get to modifying this ship. And also fittingly, it is um, pretty stormy and scary outside. So, yeah. So to do that, we're going to go to the ship options, and this is where we can modify pretty much every part of the ship. So let's start with the hull. We're going to make that all corroded metal. And we have this sort of look, which is um, pretty eerie, if I would have to say. It's not very often you'd see a cruise ship sailing around completely covered in rust. And I don't mean a couple of rust streaks. I mean totally covered in rust. Now I'm going to make the hull a green color, but I think this is a little too light, so let me... Um, either desaturate it or just darken it. And to do that, I'm gonna change the number values. So I'll bring these down to a 10 and then this to a 50. There we go. But I think what's really gonna sell this as a ghost ship or a very scary ship is changing the lighting. And I think that actually looks pretty good. Oh yeah, look at that. And once I turn off my character light there, it looks uh, pretty scary. All right, so let's get this voyage underway and uh, we'll see if there's anybody around that also is sailing a similar ship or a custom ship. And there we have a nice sunrise. And uh, yeah, we can really see that that funnel is uh, unfortunately missing. But uh, I guess it's a ghost funnel because uh, only the top portion where the smoke is coming out is um, visible. And here we have a view inside the ship. If you add some cobwebs and maybe a couple broken windows and the furniture knocked all over, this could be a pretty scary sort of sight or uh, space in the ship. All right, so this is usually the most treacherous part here. We've got uh, some torpedoes that may fire at us, and uh, it looks like we've got a ship over here. Um, I'm going to turn this way to avoid a collision, but there we are. Uh-oh, looks like they do want to collide with me. Luckily, we uh, narrowly avoided a collision, and they are turning around. While we're sailing, this is a creepy view. As you can see, this is the lifeboat deck. We've got rust everywhere and uh, no people, so very desolate. It's like one of those videos where people visit abandoned places and it's just totally derelict. Very, uh, very spooky. But shortly we should be seeing New York City, which won't be as spooky or scary because it'll be completely revamped. All right, I see something over there. It's popping into existence. And yeah, this looks to be new. There's definitely some new buildings here. And it wouldn't be a ghost ship without a tragic incident. And there we go. We have sideswiped a little boat in the uh, dock there around the port. And uh, yeah, it is now going down. All right, so sailing around the uh, lower end of New York City here, we've got the Empire State Building. So that's pretty cool. So let me dock the ship and we'll walk around the city. All right, there we go. That should be good. We'll just leave the ship here. We might get a parking ticket, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. Of course, as a ghost ship, we can simply just disappear. But yeah, here we have the Empire State Building, and that's really cool to look at. Here we have the East River, and then over to the left, that is the Hudson River. But uh, of course, there is no river there. It just simply goes out into the ocean. Now, I would imagine they would have an airport over here because um, this is in the general direction of where JFK would be. Yep, here it is. I would assume that this is an airport. Let's uh, find out. Yep, it looks like it is. This is the airport, and uh, while we're here, why don't we recreate the uh, landing on the Hudson? Now, they don't have an A320 in the game, but they do have an A380, so um, I guess this will work. Uh-oh, it looks like I'm about to stall. Yep, I'm stalling. Uh-oh, this is not going well, and I somehow saved the plane. And there we go. Oh, well, that didn't go super well. We did crash, and the aircraft exploded and sank. And I almost forgot, we gotta go ahead and sync our creations. So, um, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and take our Halloween ship and send it to the bottom. Now, luckily, this time around, we've got our funnel back, so that's a plus. But it won't be there for long, as uh, when we go down, it's gonna go down with it. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and sink by stern here, and there we go. And here I am in mini mode, walking through the ship and now, well, over the side. But yeah, we'll experience the sinking in 1-to-1 one -one scale. If it didn't already look like a ghost ship, it definitely does now. Especially with the fog, and also it's partially underwater. Here's a pretty cool cinematic view as the ship goes down. We can see the bow clear out of the water, the funnel just fell. It is pretty much the end of this ship. And also, in the background, we have the sun setting between the buildings of New York City. With the sun having set, we can see the lights of New York City there, and also the only thing that remains out of the water is the bow of the ship. So, yeah, in a matter of minutes now, the ship is going to be completely gone. So there it goes, heading to the ocean floor, so let's swim down there and see what happens. There it is, it has just hit the sea floor, and it is now on the bottom of the ocean. So... There we are. So yeah, that was a pretty quick video, but there we are. That is the brand new New York revamp for Tiny Sailor's World. And uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.